Now, tell us about how you first got into music in the first place. Was it always in your blood? Uh, yeah, Dad sang at home. He sang opera uh, badly in the shower. Did he? No, he's got a really nice voice. He had a nice voice. Because <laughs> you, um, you were mum, in Adelaide, grew up in Adelaide. Grew up in England and we migrated to Adelaide in the 50s. Um, uh, yeah, uh, well, there was no one really musical, you know. Mm. I mean, my aunties played records of Sonata and whatever, and I listened to them. And Dad played records of Benjamin Gigli and oh, all, all the great Italian tenors. And I listened to those. Um, and then Elvis came along, and I was 12, 13, and I was called a teenager, <laughs> which was a new term for It us. was in that era. Yeah. And did Elvis sort of flick a bit of a switch in you as, it, as he did with so many other Absolutely. people of that, of that era? Oh, yeah, captivated me. He shook it up, as, he literally. Shook, he shook it up. And funny you should say that because that's one of my favourite songs. And Is there's it? a story on that as well. Yeah. Uh, but he had that menace about him too, you know. He had that mystery about him. He was sexy. Mm. 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 He had that dangerous sex. Even for a 12 year old boy. You could see that. You could see that. Yeah. So his picture went up on my wall, and then I sought out all the other rock and roll stars of those days Mm. Uh, Jerry Lee Lewis and the Everly Brothers. Little Richard scared the shit out of my parents. Really? (laughs) Yeah, with his voice. Oh, my goodness. But he was great. I loved him. Yeah. Wow.